Now in Creo 10, you can use separate tools on two new specialized finishing toolpaths, wall 5-axis finish and floor 5-axis finish. Let's see a couple of examples. Using this wall 5-axis finishing toolpath, we can see that the tools supported here are ball mill, taper ball mill, barrel tangent, and barrel taper. For this example, let's use barrel taper. Now let's review the reference collectors. The surfaces selected in the wall reference collector will be used as a machining surface reference. The surfaces selected in the floor reference collector will define the tool orientation. In the axis control tab, we can define the contact point on the tool profile, the lead angle, and even a tilt angled range in relation to the defined axis. A barrel tool allows greater contact engagement between the cutter and the workpiece compared against the conventional bold nose mills. Floor finishing creates a multi-axis toolpath to finish floor surfaces. The user must specify the floor and wall surfaces. The system then automatically creates the finishing toolpath. Floor finishing can use ball mill tools, taper ball mill, and barrel lens. In this example, we will use barrel lens. The wall flow is similar to wall finishing. In this case, the floor references will define the machining surface for floor finishing, and the wall references are used to form the perimeter of the machining contour. These two new toolpaths along with the support of the barrel tools, allow the creation of toolpaths to get high surface quality. This is due to the graded contact engagement between the cutter and the workpiece. If we compare it against conventional ball nose mills. Also, these toolpaths can drastically reduce the toolpath time on the machine and reduce programming time due to less user input and a faster toolpath calculation.